Let's take a moment and talk about a different type of parameter. Earlier we saw a what if parameter and it allowed us to put a range in and then based upon that range modify our visual. Now the next one is going to be slightly different. So let's set up a scenario. You have users that come in and they see your report and notice this one says sum of sales by month but they want to see sum of sales by state or by region. Yes, we could build different visuals, but why? Let the users choose what they want to see. Now, the setup of this is fairly easy. So I'm going to deselect the visual here, and on my modeling ribbon, I'm going to come to this new parameter drop-down, and instead of doing the range, which we saw before, we're going to do fields. Now when I select fields, right, it gives me option here. I'm going to leave that. Now what are we going to call this? We're going to call this um, custom selection. Now we want them to be able to come in here and do region name and we want them to do month and we want them to do state name. Now I'm just going to double click here and put a space there and double click here and put a space there. Now take note at the bottom we're going to add a slicer to this page and I'm going to create. Wait for half a second for my slicer to appear and there it is and let's size this up. Now the slicer itself uh, under visualizations I could make some changes to it, but for the purpose of this exercise, this is perfectly fine. So how then do I get this visual to change when I click on something here? It's surprisingly easy. Let's click on that visual. And over in the visual, notice the x-axis said month, and we can see it along the bottom. But instead of putting the month in there, let's find our custom selection and put it in the x-axis and then remove the month. And let's see how this works. Region name is selected, month is selected, state name is selected, and the visual changes. Not based upon a filter per se, but a change in what we want to see. Now sometimes people say, well can I do two? Let's do two. And I can do too, but it really doesn't make a lot of sense. So let's change this slicer so that they can only pick one. With the slicer selected, I'm going to come over here to Visualizations, and I'm going to use the Format Visualizations, the Slicer Settings, and a Selection. Single Select is off. Let's turn it on. And notice we now have radial buttons, so they can only pick just one. And that's how we do the second type of field parameter.